Joe. Joe, uh, just some thoughts on Charles Lee getting the, the uh, Charlotte job. Yeah, happy for him. Great coach. Uh, long overdue, and uh, he's going to do a great job. Do you have any ad advice for him being a, you know, a new head coach yourself, relatively new? Any advice for him taking that job? Everybody hates you. Get used to it. You're no longer the nice, shiny toy. Obviously, he's going to be staying around for the postseason run. But um, what's that process like? Obviously, you went through it a little bit last year of you know replacing guys who go out and take other jobs and kind of filling your staff. How involved do you kind of expect to be in that? Uh, yeah, I mean, the goal is to hire from within as much as you can. That's why you have the structure that you have and uh, have the staff that you have. And so uh, all of our guys have done a great job. And that's kind of the first goal is retention and then kind of go from there. Hi, Coach. Um, how are you? I'm all, how are you doing? Um, with Jarrett being questionable, if he plays, he's, his health is compromised. How do, in an easy win after game one, how do you avoid natural feeling of complacency or a tendency to let down in this game? Yeah, one, I don't think any win in the playoffs is easy. Two, um, just because you continue to play hard, I think the other team's going to play just as hard. And so a natural letdown, I don't know what that means in the sense of, I think you're going to get a better version of Cleveland. That's the second time where we've played a team with 24 hours rest after an emotional game, uh, being a play-in game and then being a game seven. So like, uh, we could come out and play just as well as we did last time, but I expect you know Cleveland to, to, to play better just because of that circumstance alone. So at the end of the day, you just it takes what it takes, right? Like every game is going to every game takes on a life of its own. Every series takes on a life of its own. So uh, we got to come in with the, the same physicality, but also have an understanding that you know they're going to play better, and uh, we got to be ready to do whatever it takes to win. Joe here on your left. It's obviously a compliment to you and your staff when a guy gets plucked and he goes elsewhere. How quickly do you start to do the process of replacing a guy like Charles Lee? Is that now? Is that you know you wait till after the season because he's going to be here through the run? Yeah, I mean I think it's just again when uh, you have the structure that we have as far as talented young guys, you just be as patient as you can, knowing that there's a there's a you know a process in order about how you try to go about doing it, especially when you want to try to keep as many people around as you can. So uh, just kind of go through that process. Joe, you talked about Charles getting the job, but just from your perspective, what has he brought to the team this year? Uh, high level, you know, just experience. He's worked for a really good coach for a long time on two different teams. Been a part of a team that's won the most games in the NBA, had four All-Stars, won a championship, coached two, uh, three really good players. His relationship with Drew, and so he just brings a different dynamic uh, to the game. And uh, I think one of the best things besides, like, his basketball is, like, ability to communicate, and, and he's a, you know, really positive guy. Thanks.